what is up quick video here um my ac unit that i installed at the beginning of summer three phase unit running off the variable frequency drive with a single phase input and some dc tied into it from my solar array might be removing this might be taking off the solar and using it to power like a mini split to cool my garage or something like that not exactly sure yet but just because it is uh what is it the 28th or 29th of december today you can kind of see the sun is it is 12 35 p.m the sun is you know overhead but not directly overhead because it's you know pitched at the angle that we get with the tilt of the earth so you lose you know your density per square inch or whatever you want to say you know in layman's terms how the energy is getting to the solar panels from the sun it's not you know perfect but i want to see if this unit will start up um at this time of year so i'm going to switch my system to cool i'm going to switch it way down i don't know if it'll go to second stage right away or not colder that sounds like 60 hertz to me and it is head pressure is gonna get up there because of the uh fan not running i'd have to plug in the ac power for that or hook the fan up to the output of the vfd but this is the surprising thing 350 volts well i could feel the heat i'm sure my head pressure is going up there a little bit well, i can feel the heat it's not that hot yet though i should have put just a box fan on top of this to keep it running but i'm sure everybody likes the ac being turned on inside three twenty something voltage starting to stack oh and the compressor just <laughs> actually killed it for a second because that head pressure was probably through the roof the uh high pressure switch is wired and series to enable the vfd so i don't know if it opened or if the uh just the current went up on that but that is cool go ahead and stop it all right let's wait for the capacitors to drain all right that's blanked out we'll plug in just a dc bus from the solar nothing from the ac power wow it's have, having absolutely like no problem starting the compressor that's crazy i'm kind of curious if my meter is reading a little high though because 360 volts i know that is what it is unloaded but i just expect it to go down a lot more when i loaded it up with the compressor got a second meter hooked up just kind of 33 volts they seem to be agreeing with one another get in there oh that doesn't go to this one all right let's get ready to slam it in there Oop. 355, 360-ish. Yeah, they're reading. They're both, you know, jumping around a little differently, but yeah, about 350 volts. That is what I have on the bus. Until the head pressure goes nuts. 345, see, it's going to start dipping, but 330 volts would be its full, would be the rated voltage at full output. And there it goes. So I'm going to turn the fan on. So the... It seems that, like I'm gonna unplug the DC here, watch my voltage, I think it's gonna go down on the power from when it at the fan. Make it balance out. 360, unplug, yep. Yeah. So at this point, my DC from my solar panels is, is lifting up the voltage in the DC bus up to 360 when, they, when the power from the you know utility and the solar is plugged in at the same time. Let's do that again. 340, plug it in, yeah, 360. Wow, and if I unplug the AC, it's about 360 while, you know, at that head pressure until the uh, head pressure starts cranking up. So, wow, those solar panels are putting out pretty much <laughs> as good a performance as I've ever seen them put out. Huh, it's because it's cool out here, even though it's got probably less energy density, you know, with the sun being, you know, at 15, 20 degrees or what it is, whatever it would be at this time of year. 
near winter solstice. So. <laughs> How about that? Well, I just wanted to make a quick video. I better turn this off. It's probably blowing 40 something degree air in the house right now. <laughs> yeah, I've been tempted to get a, just a regular condenser to put on this. Plus, it'll be normal if I ever sell the house. I'll take off some of this extra stuff out here. And I could get a Bosch inverter drive condensing unit that wires up to your regular thermostat conventional wiring, you know, that will work with my, you know, new air handler I put in the attic, which, you know, just has a, you know, the normal, like an X13 style ECM. So I got just a little bit of bumps in the speed there. So probably wired up as a two stage with that. And then the, the inverter drive in the Bosch just basically regulates itself based on the suction pressure. So it probably work fairly automatically and be a lot more efficient than it is running a three phase compressor off of VFD and you know all that stuff. It's a pretty neat experiment that I did and my goal was to be able to have it automatically shift 100% off of solar when it could, when the sun was within that range of what it could. And that would have worked. The only thing is building a high voltage, voltage regulator was being a little bit of a challenge for me. I had a couple different ideas for it, but never did get it there. So never really got to tap all the power off the solar when it could. And it was just dividing it like 50-50 probably um, at best when the sun was in the favorable position. And then less than that, you know, when it wasn't. So, hmm. But anyway, as I keep saying, <laughs> probably going to be using my garage for my electronics area from now on. And when summer comes, it'll be way too hot in there if I don't add a mini split. So most likely just going to put a mini split in the garage, which is on the other side of this wall here, and, and put a condensing unit out here. Tap that off the solar. That'll be awesome.